we shouldn't be talking about Alabama Senate races. This should be a layup for Republicans because right. it's Roy Moore, who all of the controversy surrounding him, all of a sudden this is a close race. The Fox poll yesterday, which caught me by surprise, showing uh, Jones up by 10. I still think this race is probably Moore's to win. The um, RC, RCP has them all, Real Clear Politics has right. the composite, and I think it's right. two point. The average, the average of that is, uh, is more up. And of course, again, it is Alabama. But I think to get to the point of the implications of this, uh, I think John had it exactly right. This is not something that Mitch McConnell wants. And if you've seen some of Moore's rallies, he attacks Mitch McConnell, the Republican senator for the Republican candidate for Senate, is attacking the Republican leader in his campaign rally. Which shows you how much you're still going to be dealing with wrangling cats trying to get votes for anything you want to get passed. Exactly. He will, there's no way that he is a guaranteed vote for things Mitch McConnell wants to do, particularly if they have to start doing uh, debt limit things or spending things or immigration things, which will be on the agenda for January. Right, it, it, but you figure to someone like President Trump, even if he gets half, uh, Nick, the other gentleman, you get zero, right? right. No, of no, the vote. It's, so it's, even it's, even though it's not a consistent Republican vote, they're still willing to stick their neck out for this guy. Yeah, but I, yeah. I think that's true. That's I think that's the conclusion they came to when, after sort of waffling on endorsing him, they started to spend money it, on him, and Trump endorses him completely. But he'll be a headache for Mitch McConnell, absolutely. It's, it's odd, I think, that. Um, Mainstream Republicans they, to explain this, I think they're going to say, "Well, it's Alabama," and I'd feel bad if I were Alabama. I, I'd, I'd want to get out from under that stigma at this point, you know. I, I mean, it goes and, and that's so, some it of the goes back to George there, you know, Wallace, Neil Young, wrote right. about, and then you know, Leonard, you know, Alabama. Richard you know. Shelby, the other Republican senator, said, "I'm not going to vote for Roy Moore." Yes, for exactly. <laughs> and I think he referenced that we don't want Alabama. You know, Alabama has a lot of progressive, great. I hate the word progressive. Uh, because I don't mean it, it's because it's a pejorative in many circles at this point. But in terms of moving into forward the future, thinking. forward thinking, forward thinking. Uh, sorry. I think sort of state leaders in Alabama don't want someone with Roy Moore's baggage right. in the United States. Well, there, there have been articles that have been written that said even if Roy Moore wins, the Republicans lose because of what this means on a national um, level for that, having to explain it. That away. means that issue doesn't go away. The allegations don't go away. Will there be more women? And there's going to be investigations, don't you think? Right. I think absolutely. I mean, for how long? I mean, how he'll come in and the first thing they'll say is like the, the Democrats will say the Access Committee should be investigating him from day one. Right. And that'll go on for, what, 18 months? more until the next election absolutely right. what what are we thinking at this point just in terms of the politicians who have already stepped down how many more are potentially facing um, situations this is a lot of that reporting we've done in accuracy that there could be dozens more in the house and senate right. 20 million goes a long way uh you know, of, of settlements. Like right. A lot of those guys are no, probably gone. That's guys. true. I mean, the news about uh, Congressman Franks that came out last week, that one caught me completely by surprise. And so we fully expect that there will be more and there, there are was more another people pursuing one, these what, what was the, another one where it was a couple hundred thousand dollars paid out. He said he didn't even know it was paid out. Did well, that, and that's the process. I think that's something else that people are not looking at right now and that you'll have a lot of maybe sitting members of the Senate and House who might still be implicated in this. You're also going to see the process change for how this works out. Like, it's Byzantine how you would accuse a member of Congress. So somebody the Trent Franks' office said, I didn't know who to go to when he harassed it's me. It's bizarre, though, that they had a, like a slush, oh, yeah, that, yeah, well, oh, yeah, we need that $20 million just to cover the sexual harassment claims for, for members of Congress. Of course we need that. We've got to have that over here. Dollars. Yeah, it's, it's a certain amount every year that we write off. That the cost of doing business, right? It costs of doing business. That's, that's going to change. Certain of that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.